Okay, hello. Should be live now. Just want to make sure that I'm... I'm still getting used to this, but hey, there we go. Maybe I didn't see the first message or so. <laughs> but, I'm here now. Ugh. I don't know, dude. They need to improve some of the stuff, like just having a dedicated area that's easier to get to. <sighs> anyway, welcome to the stream slash VOD if you're watching later. Um, I'm going to check out more of the Play That console tonight. I did a couple of the games that came with the console last time, and I'm going to check out some of the ones that I've downloaded from Itch. Uh, they're free ones, but hey, if this segment goes well, I guess I'll, I can check out more. Okay, it seems to be connected. There we go. So this is it. I might do a bit of a... Uh, this game was pretty addictive. It reminds you of uh, Tony Hawk almost, but... It's... It's a bit more simple. I appreciate the chiptune music and everything. Also, let me know how the volume is, because, uh... It might be a bit loud. Hang on, let me, let me lower it. Is it loud? I don't know. It might be okay. I think I just had my headphones loud. Anyway. So this whole thing is steered with the, uh, the crank, but you can see me moving. I guess that's the other thing about this game is... It's kind of like akin to the Wii with motion controls, but it, it's a crank instead. Oh, I am so much better at this than I used to be. Is that a shock? Ah! Okay. It seems okay. Okay, good, 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 good. There's also a little bit of a delay on chat because... I found that the lower latency modes just may contribute to the packet loss, I don't know. But that problem seems to be less of an issue. Shit. <laughs> you know, I was told that Australians should know how to surf and... Yeah, look, I mean... That's like saying all Europeans and, I guess, Scandinavians in particular should know how to snowboard. Nah, I mean, look, we'll cope with it. I got triple digit score first time, so... A. Okay. Maybe you're not the one I should be testing with. Ah, I mean, it's fine. As long as communication happens eventually, it doesn't matter, like, at what pace. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it. It's a pretty simple big game, but it's, it's pretty addictive and like it's got the right vibes to it. Nah, bro. Oh, 
Okay, that was almost a mess. I mean, a surfer talk. Nah, bro. That was some bodacious, dude. Gotta be tubular. Oh, that was distracting! <laughs> I hate when games do that. Where they pause the gameplay just to do some special thing. Too much. We got greedy. Anyway, I mean, this is this is a cool little time killer. I I do enjoy this one. All right, slightly behind. Oh yeah, I can control volume. Anyway. Okay. Um, this was an interesting game, but I can't look at it. But it's made by Bennett Foddy, which was a bit surprising. Okay, so I have the ones that I've installed from Itch. We have the problem trolley. Okay. I see. I have to. Des I have to decide the lesser of the evils. And the crank moves it. All right, got it. <laughs> this is so morbid. Jeez. What have I done? What am <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll just the smear left behind, jeez. It's getting quicker and quicker. So what if I get it wrong? Oh I can't tell. Okay, that was correct. Fuck. That's wrong. Wait, it... Huh? <laughs> it's so hard to tell! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shit. No! Oh, it's slow. Okay, I see. So you get a game over the moment you mess up. It slows down again. It was a Christmas miracle that I got that far. Crap. <laughs> that, that, that's fine. It, do it really doesn't give you enough time. You have to have lightning reflexes, and it's a crank. It's like a physical crank. I gotta, like, flip the switch. Uh, the sound effects are straight up some person making the, the noise. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, it's correct. Incorrect. Oh, that's correct. It's so, like, it just goes too quickly. <laughs> like, how am, I how am I supposed to react that fast? This will help you at, like, counting numbers very quickly. This is almost like brain training, but in a very morbid way. <laughs> sound effects are the best. Oh, 
Got it. Crap. It's such a simple premise. This was free. Like, even if I had paid a dollar for it, this would already be, be worth the money. This is something you kind of take with you, and it's a conversation piece for sure. Oh, I've gotten really lucky on this. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, that was a good job. Yes, good job. I, I, I can't tell. I'm so I'm sorry, but like, I had I had less than a second to figure out which had the most bodies on it. Like, no. Oh, whatever, dude. Like, I'm sorry, but there's, there's no way. I... Okay. The, yeah, like, at, at that point... At that point, how am I supposed to tell that quickly? <laughs> Alright. That, 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 that was a, a quick one. So, yeah, that was a uh, problem, Charlie. Pretty, pretty fun. Alright, so this is... I saw this one, and it, they had a mini-game jam. So it's like WarioWare. Oh, I see. Sleep? <laughs> That's cute. I don't get it. Damn it. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> That's great. Cat's a thief. Got it. Um. What? I pressed the direction. Okay. Oh, ooh, that's tricky. No, that's awkward. Okay, spin the crank and shoot. Cool. I didn't have to do a thing. <laughs> Welcome, my lady. I don't get this one. I don't- I don't get that one. Close the gate! Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't get that one. Like, I'm doing what it says, and it just doesn't work. I don't know if it's bugged, but it just doesn't work. Alright, I lost that! Uh, 
Oh, I see. You got to grab. <sighs> see, some of these aren't clear. Haha! <laughs> got ya. Again, really? That, that, I don't like that one. That one's like 100% up to chance. <laughs> Apparently I caught the hat. Uh, the pretty short, but yeah, there you go. It was done in a game jam, so it, it's pretty interesting. I mean, you can definitely, um, like, make make a bunch of these. Oh, see, there's a few that we haven't seen. Gated Castle. Squashal. Oh, no, there's more. Okay. Well. Hang on. Let's just skip through it. I don't get that one. Some of them seem to be bugged. Got it. This... Oh, okay, a tie is defeat. No, no, no. So, <laughs> so you, you, if you don't win, if you tie, you lose. Oh, what? It's got an accelerometer? Oh, I, I did not know this. What? Hang on. Welcome, new chat member. Sorry, I couldn't read the name. As I am doing something time-sensitive. Wait. Oh, I messed up. That is not enough time to do that, but that one's cool. You have to press a particular button as well. <sighs> Close it! Okay. Guess who? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Why is it not- Okay. If there is one- Whoa. Hang on, headset turned off. If there is one complaint I have about this, right away. I appreciate that this was a game jam, but like, they should have agreed on a control scheme. Because some of these, they get you to press A, some of them they get you to press B. So there's no established pattern of how these games control. So sometimes I'm pressing A and then it's like, nah, just kidding, you have to press B. I guess... It makes you appreciate WarioWare quite a bit, because all that stuff, it, it's pretty intuitive. Like, you don't think about it. Okay, hang on. But yeah, my headset turned off. I think the battery went flat, so... I'm just swapping them out. Excellent, alright. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. That's laws don't dox you. Okay. I won't. Get the hat! Got it. On your phone, it defaults to your personal. What? It does? Your chat name's coming up as like Al F T W D. Like, almost like it's an acronym. I don't know if some of these are bugged or what, but like, some are clear. Others are not. I want to see all of them. Okay, this one. Ooh, that does not give you enough time. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. This one is by far the worst one in the pack. This one's by far the worst one in the pack. Because it's a game of chance. And a tie is a defeat. Damn it. Also, why is this... Does this feel... Hang on. Go to sleep. Go to sleep! Got it. Yeah, and I've Queen logged in on your phone, I see. Wait, I need to restart my play date. The game crashed? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, look, there's there's a couple that I didn't cease, and I want to see them. Oh, playing Pong with a crank is, is not right. Like, there's a couple of these. This one I don't like, just because... Unless you can change it and cheat, maybe that's what I'm missing. Get the hat! <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just spin. Sleeping equals you. Yeah, why aren't you sleeping? Isn't it nine nine o'clock? Okay. Dude, this one does not give you enough time. Got it. Pretty sure it's a parachute. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, you got the pick. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. This one's not that bad. I thought you get one choice. This one I don't get. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. It's a, it's a parachute. This... Yeah, this in the middle of it is a little distracting. What? Why is there a pl- <laughs> Why is there a play? Why was there a plate? The plate distracted me! I, I don't get that one, dude. Like... Glitch passive went off, chat.
No, open. Okay, I got it. Ready. See, this one's good because it gives you a ready screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no! Alright. That's enough of that one. What's Bobby? Bobby. Move the character with the directional arrows. Complete all levels for each level. Collect the coins and reach the exit. The rock blocks you. The conveyor belt takes you in one direction. Mm-hmm. Oh. Neat. I don't think the sound effects. I mean, yes, this is free, keep in mind. I imagine this game is still being worked on. Just to be sure. Okay, yep. It's not that the system lost sound. This triggers your ADHD. What? Like this? You go now, play Diablo tomorrow. Ah, uh, I can't tomorrow. I'll be away. I've got a family thing that I'm going to be at pretty much all day, so... I won't be back till later on in the evening. Unless you're going to be up. Okay, so some of this reminds me of um, Chip's Challenge, like that old DOS game that I showed. Except... Yeah, okay. It has this drawbridge thing in the middle. That's kind of neat. There's... Yeah, I guess this is more of a demo and something that's going to be worked on, but... I can see something here. You know what it reminds me of? That would be great to port. Um, the minigame from Stardew Valley. Like, you could totally put that in here. And it would run really well. If I'm home past 7pm, no chance. Yeah, it's it's most likely going to be that. <laughs> like, it's Saturday night, stay up! I'm kidding. Oh, and then you wall. Okay, got it. Yeah, Prairie King. This would... Prairie King would be totally awesome on this, and I think enough time has passed that my anger from, like, trying to beat it without dying and getting the Steam achievement has passed, because I, I swear I, I lost my mind. I, I'd lost my mind trying to get that achievement. But I did get it. It, it took straight up a whole month of <laughs> just attempts. Okay, so I guess this is demonstrating screen scrolling, which, yeah, it's neat. I think a lot of the stuff is just probably preparing for an adventure game like Zelda. In fact, even the map, like, I swear this is a link to the past. Where you get the key, like, you get the key. Well, it all, it, it reminds me of a dungeon in a link to the past. Like, particularly this corner here. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to remake a link to the past, because look at this. 
Anyway. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look. That's fine. It was a freebie. I checked that out. It was cool. This is going to be pretty short, but I, I didn't intend for this to be very long either, so. One bit arena. I can always load more onto it, it wouldn't take long, to be honest. New game. Difficult. Normal. Help. Use the D-pad to fire. Sorry, use the D-pad to move. Press A to fire while moving. Or B to change the angle while firing. Okay. I'm, al I'm already in love with this console, dude. <laughs> it's it's taking me back to the days of classic Game Boy, except things run at a better frame rate and probably a little a little more visually impressive. Because I'm sure they have stuff for particles and whatnot, like that particle that happens when you hit something. Excellent. I mean, this is very Prairie King-esque. Weapon plus plus, alright. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of game... Dude, ah, oh, damn it, I'm dead. Hey! <laughs> Where were the iframes? Where were my iframes? <laughs> they didn't work. I was gonna say, like, something like Vampire Survivors would be awesome on this. You have to appreciate the detailing that they can do, despite it just being black and white graphics. I think that's why this was a good choice, just creativity through restriction, you know? Level three. Shield. Ah, no, damn it. What? I, where was my shield? I got a life. I do like that. You know, the crank is there, but not all the games use it. I think- Ooh! It's a wise choice. Okay, enemy clear. Oh, they're the fast now. And these ones can only be hit in the eye, so they can't be hit in the back. Or maybe they require multiple hits, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they're just multiple hit.
Oh, I think it's just invincibility for a certain amount of time. That makes sense. Mud? What are they? They're like... I guess they're more zombie-like. Oh! Oh no! Okay, this just got even more spicy. This one's pretty good. At the moment, I think a lot of the games on this are very arcadey. But the one that I checked out um, by Ben, like, it had Ben at 40 as part of the development team. That one was, like, just a very weird little story, which was, was fun. So, I mean, it has potential to have more fully fledged titles. Instead of everything being arcade. It, it's kind of funny because that's how these old consoles were like. It's Most of the games that first released on them were very arcadey and then they learned what to do with the hardware and they became fully fledged experiences. And I think it's going to be the case with this. I don't know. It's a pretty cool little device. I like it. But I'm a bit of a nerd, so maybe my opinion... <laughs> isn't isn't the greatest one to pay attention to. I'll see what people say tomorrow, because I'm going to be hanging out with family, so... I'll bring this little device along and see what they say. I might put a few more games onto it. Ah! Crap. I have two credits left, so I guess let's just... Dude, bat, please. The chiptune sound effects are great, I love it. No! Oh, that was unlucky. That was just random as random, bad luck. Excited to hear the niece review. <laughs> we'll see. I'll hand her the device. Oh, but no, nah, she'll already be there. Don't get to write up. She's gotten pretty good at video games. Well, oh, come on. <laughs> Sometimes I do struggle with the size of this thing. It's small. It is quite small, it's like... The width of it is slightly less than a credit card. And then the height, it's, it's basically a square of that. More or less. It is, is quite tiny. I don't know, we can blame Sweden for that one, because it was Swedish engineers that designed the console case itself. <laughs> I 
But yeah, they partnered with a company that makes audio gear, and they've made very cool-looking computer cases. They're very good at industrial design, and they're based in Sweden, so they partnered with them to design the device itself. It looks really nice. But, uh... It's tiny. It is very tiny. Sounds pretty good for your tiny hands. Yeah, I'm sure you would enjoy something like this. Ah! It's actually great. The, the one complaint that everyone has is... They kind of wish it had a backlight. It doesn't have a backlight, would you believe it? It has... A reflective screen. So it's kind of... The best way to describe it, it's like one of those, um... E-readers. Very high contrast. Pretty crystal clear. You don't need that much light shining onto it. And you can see it pretty clearly. However, you can't play it at night. But I don't have any issues seeing. It's nighttime here. And it's just a little bit of light that's shining onto it. And it's fine. So, it's surprising. Yeah, I'm just stretching my arm a little. The other thing that helps is if I don't want to look at it, I can always just look at my computer screen because it's mirroring the video feed. So, that's the other cool thing. I think it's a huge deal that they've they had this. Just the fact that I can plug it into the computer and just treat it like as if I have a controller and then, you know, the image is on, on the monitor instead. So that's pretty neat. Wait, I got Fireball now. Oh, no, but I restarted. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, you go home. I see. That's kind of decent. Alright, so... Those were the ones that I loaded. I was expecting to spend more time on them. Um, I can probably... Pick something from itch now. It honestly doesn't take that much time to do it. Like, um, hang on. You pretty much just download it and then it just sides lo loads it. It's pretty quick. So let me see. Um, I'll see if I can find something very quickly. Tag it with that. And let's just see what's free. Okay. Um. All right. I I got. A few others. I should see who they buy, but like... <laughs> Organization, look, you can see the titles, look them up on... Um... Itch. It's, uh... You just look at the game title, and then you'll you'll find it. Okay, now I go here. Yeah, I mean it, it's pretty decent. Okay, side load, choose a file. That one. That one. You'll get to see the cool little animations as well that, um, happen with this.
and I'm pretty happy with the purchase. But I, again, I'm I'm just a massive nerd, so you know. These sort of things are uh, right up my alley. Okay. Two more and then they should appear on the device. I just gotta go to the download area. I didn't know what to expect when I heard that this was black and white. Just the visuals, I wasn't expecting to be this high fidelity, like they're pretty good. But I guess these are people that know how to work with um, just two colors. It's not an easy thing to do, <laughs> but I mean, it, it gives a pretty unique art style. I imagine there's tools out there that do the dithering for images like this. I would imagine they did the graphic somewhere else and then they took it into a tool and uh, just made it generate that. Otherwise, that is very impressive, someone that can do that art style. Okay, that aside. Right. Refreshing list, okay, it's refreshing list. Oh, yeah, there you go. I got one called Cat World. <laughs> so. I don't know what it is. I just saw the title and I was like, alright, get Cat World. But, uh. It's doing it over Wi Fi as well, so it might be a bit. a bit slow. As I, I think I'm a bit away from the router right now. We'll see what it is. I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, that is painfully slow if it's only downloading, like, 1.5 meg. <laughs> I, maybe, they're, maybe they're simulating just how slow downloads were back in the day. Okay, Rocket Bytes. Yeah, no. I think it's just their servers that are slow. I am in Australia, you know. Maybe they just don't have Australian mirrors, I don't know. I'm not sure if it does background downloads, that's why I'm sticking to the screen. I'll tell you what. Let me do that. And then when it's done, I'll I'll put it up. Uh but yeah, I mean, other details about it. I'm surprised it has an accelerometer, so it, it does have that aspect to it. it. Has quite a bit of kit to it. The crank thing is interesting, but like, let's face it, it's effectively an analog stick, but it's in the form of a crank down the side of the device. It is interesting, but I think much like the Wii era, I hope that stuff doesn't get overused. Like, putting crank controls just for the sake of putting crank controls in. That's what the Wii era was, was like, just, oh yeah, let's put a motion control in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's not think if that's the best way to control it. And then some games were just super clunky towards the end of the Wii's lifespan, just because, um... Yeah, it was just, they shoehorned motion controls in, and just, it didn't work as well. 
it's kind of why Skyward Sword was pretty infamous. Um, just, I didn't get Skyward Sword back in the day just because I heard that it was pure motion control. I was like, hmm. And you know what? Experiencing it like 10 years later <laughs> and just how much I struggled with that last fight. Jeez, dude. I can definitely see how that would have annoyed me back in the day. But, you know. Like the Wario game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I loved that game so much just because of visuals, right? It's great. However, sometimes I'm like, fucking hell, dude. Just please, just normal, <laughs> normal control. Every not everything has to be shaking. But, I mean. Yeah. It's kind of sad that that was the last time there was a Wario Land game. There hasn't been one since. I hope that they revive the series, because I grew up with that series on Game Boy. Like, I had Wario Land 1, 2, and I think I played 3 later, but, like, they were my favorite series on Game Boy, because Mario didn't really have a presence. Mario Land, um... Mario Land 1 was almost like a demo of Game Boy tech, and then Mario Land 2 wasn't really like Mario Land. Wario was its own thing. I've always appreciated his games. Alright, anyway. Let me go home. Let me go no screen. There we go. So this is, when you get a game, it's like this. I mean, the animations are pretty adorable. What's supposed to happen is, you know, you wake up one morning and then the, your light, the device light is on and then you arrive and it's like, oh, you have a new game. They've delivered you a new game. That was the premise of the device. But because I've added these uh, games from itch, you know, it's kind of fast tracking that process. At some point it'll add a new game here. Anyway, let's play rocket bites oh that's a cool that's a cool screen i like that i didn't know you could do that that's cool out of fuel what oh Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I see. Whoa! Okay, this is hard to control. This is very hard to control. <laughs> Wait, no, it doesn't have accelerometer controls. It's just super clunky, but that's probably on purpose. Okay. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be just... Oh my god. The drift. Okay, got it. <laughs> it drifts for no reason. I do appreciate that it lets you die as many times as you want and just counts your deaths. And now I gotta call- oh. Whoa! <laughs> okay, 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 okay! Dude, please. Oh, come on. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Okay, easy, easy. That eh, got it. This just reminds me of the Yakuza minigame in the massage parlor and just like how it just shifts all of a sudden. Okay, that was- that was fine. Oh, this is- this is pretty neat. I do like this. It doesn't matter how clunky the controls feel, it's... It's one of these things where, yeah, it's- it feels clunky, but like... 
that just means you gotta perfect the controls. You know? So cute, the little ship. Oh, the graphics and everything. There's just something charming about these kind of games, and I think the Game Boy is the same thing, it's just... All the games on it just have this charm that... I don't know, you just don't get that often. The handheld, of course, helps, right? But, like... I think that's that's the thing that's really... Yeah! <laughs> oh, come on. Driving the nostalgia for me right now is just... This form factor... Dude, please. PLEASE! I can't, I can't even... Okay, yeah! Ah! I, I've, I've lost my train of thought. But I guess what I'm saying is, it's just... It takes me back to a simpler time, you know? Oh my god, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna have an aneurysm. Okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. Just... Hey, 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 hey! Okay, 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 okay! okay. I will... I will get this. Slow it down... Okay, okay, okay! Oh, how's this not over? Dude... Okay! Got it! Ugh. You gotta pop out for a bit. Alright, Nick, uh, see you later. Don't know if I'll still be on. We'll see. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day if I don't see ya. Oh. Dude, this, this thing just... <laughs> Please. I know this is supposed to be intentionally hard. But this is just control finesse. Oh, ooh, ooh, these turns. Okay, 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 okay. Speed run strat. Just, just die again. Ah, oh, nearly had that. It's okay, it's a, it's a speed run strat. That was quite the tight corner. Okay.
Oh, what is this fresh shell right here? Ah! <laughs> 26 deaths. You could totally speedrun a game like this. No deaths category. Oh my god. Let's do this stage and then we'll move on to another one, because I do want to be sensitive on time here. As fun as this is, like, I'm enjoying this one thoroughly. Okay, the diff- <laughs> I'm just being a fool here, but like... The difficulty on this one seems to be... Not as... Hard. Oh, I see what's going on. Is this a house? Stop it! <laughs> Is this a house? Lamp, plant. <laughs> Dude, it's so it's so hard to control. It's so easy to gain momentum in just a strange way. Oh, come on. No! I've almost doubled my death count just on this stage alone. Okay. That really shouldn't have happened. Very cool. Rocket Bites. I mean, there's user levels, there's a level editor. Pretty neat little package. One bit jetpack, loop play. Okay. Let's check this one out. There you go, I mean you can you can see Oh it's another one by the brain dead dude. Oh this feels very game and watchy. I mean assets being reused, there's nothing wrong with that. Those eyes, I, I feel like I've seen them in Zelda. Okay. And that's what I was doing by collecting those pieces. Oh, it's fuel, I see. Now I got six out of six fuel. And then you go in. Ah, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure this is just testing ideas. A shmup, but like slightly different. Is 
This one's a bit easier than the other one. Alright. Eh, pretty simple, that one. Loopsy? Oh, I like this title screen. Mm -mm -mm. How to move. Okay, good. It has alternate. This is pipe. This is pipe dream. Totally got the pipe dream vibes here. Okay, it's fine. We can. This is not easy. Eraser, um, this one. Okay, just put it, place it down. Better to, to place and be wrong. It just refuses to give me the pieces I want. There we go. Okay. Alright, now we've run into a problem. Oh. Okay, well, this is GG, isn't it? Like, good. Okay, can we... Erase a piece. Oh, maybe we can. Um, this piece here. Ah, uh, no kidding. But what if I can't place it? What a weird game. Okay. Anyway. Guess it's working. What 
But at the pace conquer anyway. Very strange. Okay. Hang on, maybe I've missed the point of this. No, okay. Maybe I haven't. It did make a score. Scan the code to upload your score. No, thank you. <laughs> that was an embarrassment. Okay. A weird game. So I guess the objective is just to make the longest single piece possible. If I'm understanding this correctly. I'm trying to understand the meta here. Oh shit, that was bad. Whoops. I mean, hopefully I can erase. Okay, hang on, let me start again. Oh, there's a dark mode, that's cool. Careful, what did, what did that mean? I wish there was a, uh, like a T-shape. Oh, this block is just awkward. Okay, I got, I got no choice here. Grace. Cool. For now. I just realized that that probably won't work. For a multitude of reasons, but the main one primarily is that it just doesn't work that way. Oh no, that's a mess. Alright. Interesting game. I don't know why it says level 1, like to me it feels like there's a goal to achieve, but maybe I just didn't get it. This isn't Gimme Friction Baby, it's only a tribute. What 
ist das? What? Oh, okay. I see, I see. Weird. And get it. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Okay, got it. There's got to be some tactic to this that I'm not getting. Why why is it sometimes bigger? I don't get why some of them are bigger. Is there an explanation? There is no explanation. Okay. Let's figure it out in it. I think I got it. If it lands outside the thing, then it's game over. So I have to try and keep it within the constraints of this line. But also try and knock things out. Oh, that's rude. Nice. Good. Good one. Ooh. Okay. I need to aim it over there. There we go. Okay, I understand this now, more or less. Shit. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. the strategy to this. I guess there's a game called Friction. Ooh. Lucky. Okay. I feel like this one's going a bit better. Uh oh, that might get big. Jeez, why? Oh, why? <laughs> that's like... That's so unfair. I didn't press a button, like it just straight up enlarges randomly. Yeah, okay, thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, ah, damn it. Ooh. 
ruined it. Well, <laughs> game was good. Is there a way I could give it more momentum? Or is it just, it's always a fixed distance? It seems to be a fixed distance. Okay, well at least that one's gone. Oh no, this is this is bad. If that one inflates to Yep, fuck me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm not gonna survive this. Ah, alright. Interesting game. I kinda wish I wouldn't plug and unplug. The last one is Cat World. Voice 1, look, he's awake. Voice 2, help me. Get him out the tank. Boom. Voice 1, did you hear? Boom. Voice 3, you are under arrest, please drop your weapons. Boom boom. Voice 2, stick him in the guitar and get out of here. Glider, sorry, guitar. But where? Your final warning has expired. Hold on, little- what is this? Whoosh. Bang. Oh, this was 100% made in, um... The game maker thing, the web based one. It's a crater, looks like a cat landed here. But I guess these are the kind of things you can make using the simple game maker. Halt, no one leaves here while Skulldog is roaming, beat it. And still, Skulldog hibernates, this bridge is closed. So, I guess this is a good one to kind of illustrate what you can do with the, uh, the web-based game maker. Sniffle, sniffle, sniff. Me? I'm nobody. Not here anymore. Wait, are you in need of... Backstory? That's my whole thing! I'm from- I'm Listos from Central City. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wait a minute, you're the kitten we rescued, what's your name? What do you mean you don't have one? Your caller says MBR. Ember? Nice to meet you, Ember. Sorry about dropping you on the way down. I'm uh, glad you landed okay. So, the Skulldog is, well, it's big and it's dangerous and it comes out of hibernation once a season. I'm sure you have a lot of questions and I can't answer them. But first, we need to get out of this forest. The bridge is blockaded to stop the Skulldog from going anywhere. But maybe there's another route? Let's take a look together. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well. This is, um... I already know what this is ripping. Mo Ugh, damn, it's like a monster's quest. Not sure why, but collecting this flower seems important. It's pretty. Yeah, it's, um... Unless it's made by the same developer, but it's the same gameplay loop, moving logs. It, it straight up is. I just realized I dropped the radio on the way down, er, in addition to you, that is. 
If we are to find it, we can call for an airlift out of here. Yeah, yeah, it's... It's straight up that. But probably like more of a demo than anything else. So, I mean... It's, uh, it's fine. I think as a little project, it's okay. Like, it's not meant to... Hang on. Howdy. Don't see too many other cats around these parts. We're trying to get out of here, actually. If the bridge ain't open, y'all out of luck. They won't let anyone pass till Scully takes a nap. I'd wager he's deeper in the forest. Can you help us get in there? Bring me a bunch of flowers and you can have my axe. Five flowers, three's not a bunch. Okay, so we need two more. Yeah, look, I mean, here's the thing. With this one, I'm less inclined to finish it because I got burnt out on the Monster's Expedition. Mon was it Monster Expedition or Monster's Quest? I think it was Monster's Expedition. But it was- the gameplay was basically just this. Moving logs. Oh, it's a- it's a hundred percent Monster Expedition. I'm not sure if it's made by the same person, but it's... It's the exact same gameplay loop. I wonder if... Some of these designs are taken from it. I think it's impressive, though, that you can make this sort of thing using the, uh... My radio! Hello, my sweet baby girl. I'm sorry for be dropping you. Ugh, the back's missing. The other half must have landed somewhere else. You can make this sort of thing in the uh, editor. Oh. Okay, so we just gotta get the other flower. And then we get access to the radio. I mean, I'm hoping there's more unique content, but we'll see. That one wasn't difficult, but maybe it's one at the start. What beautiful flowers. You have my thanks and my axe. Okay. Yeah, you can chop down. Of course not. It was the Kingdom North folks coming here and tearing up half the forest. They didn't even clean up neither. What do you uh, reckon they need all the lumber for? Okay, anyway. It is complete. Finally, we can get out of here. Hello, Command. Can anyone hear me? Well, so much for that plan. Guess we need something for the bridge. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean... Nothing against the game, it's just I spent so much time on Monster Expedition and it was just these puzzles over and over again. It got repetitive, so I stopped playing that one. It was cute. But yeah, I mean, impressive that uh, you can do this in the game editor. Pretty neat. I wonder what if you soft lock yourself, like what do you do? I 
because I may have just soft locked myself. <laughs> no, there's no reset. Okay, cool, so... And then, ugh, go around, hang on, hang on, I got it. Just took a bit, and then... The huge metal wall towers above you. Doors, climb? We're talking about, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, am I going to see him or her? Sick graphics, so, um, what's our plan? Talk. Yeah, I'm sure that parlor burns in the mood for conversation. You should go ahead. You're one chatty. Okay. I'm not going to talk to it yet. Hey, where are you going? Don't leave me here all alone. Yell. Skulldog doesn't bother. What happened? Are you dead? Come back here. Okay. What? He's asleep? That means he's hibernating, yes? Maybe the guard will finally open up that bridge. Let's go. Oh, right. Until that thing hibernates. Okay. Yeah, now the bridge is open. I'm gonna- I'm giving this... Taylor, go ahead. Okay, yeah, 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 but like... I wanna see if there's any other mechanic. To be continued. Oh, I guess it's a work in progress. Okay. Yeah, I mean, neat. It's cool that you can do that amount of detail in, um... The web-based game maker. It's pretty neat. The only thing is, it's it's Monster Expedition. <laughs> it's the log thing. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, ah, it's Monster Expedition, damn. But it was short, it was sweet, so I guess that's fine. Can't give it too much grief. I think that was the last one, so yeah. All right, that was pretty neat. I. Rocket Bites was really good. I enjoyed that one. Um, these two, I guess, they're, they're well, Jetpack and um, One Bit Arena. They're kind of little tech demos, so they're cool. But you can see people are actively working on games for this, so I think it's a pretty neat little handheld. I'm very happy with it. So, anyway, this was, uh, this was it. It was going to be relatively short, so I'm going to... I'm going to leave it here, but if you are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It's free. It helps me out. And, and shill. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm getting used to saying that, but yeah. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Take care.